Anyway guys, welcome back to another video. In this episode I'm going to show you how to pass an instance of your main plugin class to another class. Alright, so I get a lot of comments and people joining our Discord asking how to pass an instance of your main plugin class here that has your on enable and on disable methods uh, to another class because commonly you'll need an instance of your main plugin class to do things like access the configuration file, um, create new tasks, um, do stuff like that. It's very, very common. You know, even if you know how to do object oriented programming, it can be tricky to actually understand um, how to use it sometimes if you don't have real world practice. So what I'm going to do this episode is show you two ways that you can pass an instance of your main plugin class to another class. So you'll be able to do that. Okay. So let's go ahead and check out what I got here so far. So I got a new spigot project 1.17. The version doesn't really matter though, of course. Um, this will work on any version of Minecraft development. And so I've got a little depth listener class here. There's nothing inside of it except that it implements listener. So I'm just going to make a new event handler, event handler, public void on player death. So this is when the player dies, obviously. So player death event E. All right. So let's say inside of this class for some reason, or inside of this method here, for some reason, I want to do something with the plugin instance. Now, there's two ways to do this. They're both pretty easy. Um, the most common way that you'll see me doing in all of my videos is by making a static accessor method. So what I'm going to do is go to instance access, my main plugin class here, and do private static plugin. All right, or not plugin, but uh, instance access, which is the, the type of the class of our main plugin class. And then plugin is the name of the variable or the field. And then inside of our on enable method, we're going to set the, we're going to set that variable. So we're going to do plugin is equal to this. Okay. And then after that, we're going to go down here and make a static getter method that enables you to access this, uh, this variable here or this field here. So we can do that by going to code generate getter and then okay. So it's gonna recognize that it's a static field. So it's gonna do public static instance access. So it's returning a object or it's a, something of the type of instance access and then get plugin is the name of the method. So very standard, very simple. And so it's gonna return plugin, which is this private static instance access plugin uh, variable here. So again, when the plugin starts up, it's going to, you know, obviously run this on enable method. And then it's going to go here to this line and say plugin, which is a variable within a static variable within this class here is equal to this. So now that we have that, we can go into this death listener here. And if we ever want to access, or even any class, right? If we ever want to access instance access, an instance of this class here, all we have to do is do instance access, which is the name of the class, dot get plugin. And now we have an instance of the plugin. So therefore we can do, uh, we can access our configuration file if we had one. So get config, there we go, dot get boolean, and provide the path, there we go. So very useful there. Or what you can do is make a new task, for example. For example, so a new bucket task or bucket runnable. And then run, that's gonna be the code of the task. So I want waffle fries. I want waffle fries. And then we're gonna run it. This is the part where you need an instance of the plugin. So you can do run task later. And so it asks for a instance of plugin plugin. So just the plugin class. And every single plugin that you have extends Java plugin, which implements the plugin interface, I believe, right here. So plugin is an interface. So what all that means is that instance class, the main class of your plugin is actually a plugin as well because it, because of the hierarchy, it, it implements plugin. All right. So therefore we can do instance access dot get plugin. So now we're passing in an instance of the plugin into that uh, method there. And then this delay, you know, it's just the amount of ticks that you want to delay it for. If you're not familiar with bucket tasks, then don't worry, it's just an example. But there you go, that's how you might use that if you ever need a instance of the plugin, okay? All right, so that's the first way to do it. That's how you can access an instance of your plugin there um, by using a static getter method. So again, you're just creating a static variable, setting it when the plugin starts up, and then accessing it using public static instance access get plugin. Pretty simple. But let's say you don't wanna do this, right? Let's say you wanna do a different way. This way is called constructor injection, or just passing in a variable to a constructor, whatever you want to call it. So this time we're going to go up here and create a field for our um, plugin instance. This time it's not inside of the main plugin class, but inside of the where we need it, the death listener. So we're going to do private, final, and then the name of our class that we're trying to, you know, put here. Then instance access, and we can call this plugin, you can call it instance access, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't matter, of course, it's just a normal variable. Um, and then now we get a little problem here. It says, um, 
variable instance access might not have been initialized. And this is because it's final, so it has to have an initial value. So you can either set initial value here by doing blah, 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 like new instance access, but we can't do that obviously. Or you can create a constructor. So we can do public, public death listener instance access, instance access is equal to this dot instance access is equal to instance access. So what you have done here is created a Java constructor for this death listener class. And when it is constructed, you're passing in an instance of your instance, as instance access plugin class to that constructor. And then you're setting the variable up here. All right. And this is just basic object oriented principles. If you don't know how to, you know, use constructors and stuff like that, then watch my Java series or um, look up a tutorial on that. Um, so now that we have this instance access variable set, we can use it just like we were using it a second ago. So instance access dot get config if that's what you want to do, or you can again create a bucket task if that's what you want to do as well. But now you can't forget whenever you register this death listener, you have to pass in an instance of instance access or whatever the name of your main plugin class is. So we can go back here and are on enable. So we're going to do git server dot git plugin manager dot register events plural. And then we're going to do new death listener. And now it wants an act. Usually it's empty, right? It doesn't ask for anything unless, you know, for some reason you add something there. Um, but now it's asking for an instance access uh, to be passed in. So we're going to do this because this class here is our main plugin class, right? So if we just pass in this, that is talking about this. So it's the, it's the class that you're in right now. So that will satisfy what it needs. And then now we need an instance of plugin again. So we'll just do this again. So you're doing it twice, but in this case, for the first one, you're just passing an instance of the plugin class to death listener. So now death listener, it's going to be created using the constructor. This is going to be set. So now you can use it wherever you want inside of this class here. So some would say that the first way we did it using static is uh, more improper just because people like to disencourage using static, you know, keywords and stuff like that. Um, but it really doesn't really matter. You know, both ways are pretty easy. They both get the job done. You're going to see a lot that I'm using the static way of doing things in my plugins, but uh, you can do whatever way you prefer. I would say the only benefit of using the first way is just that you don't have to create constructors for your classes all the time, like for here. Usually when I make listeners in my plugins, you don't ever see me make constructors because I don't do it that way. I usually you know, just use the static way of doing things that we saw first. So just as a recap, what the two things we did, one is static getter method to access plugin instance. And then number two is constructor injection or just using a constructor in simple terms. Very, very simple. So those are the two things. Those are your options. Choose whatever one you want to do. All right. But anyway, I hope this helped you out. Hopefully this video was informative. And if you're wondering how to do this properly, then now you know how to do it. All right. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. In the description below, I'll leave a link to the code for this episode so you can check it out. You can bookmark it, come back to it later. If you forget any concepts or you just want to review the concepts I taught in this video, I'll mark everything up with comments so you can come back and read the code without having to rewatch the video. Although your reviews are greatly appreciated. So yeah, I'll leave a link for that in the description below, so make sure to check it out. And another thing is I'll leave a link to our Discord server. It's a big community for programmers. You can ask for help on your programming projects if you're stuck on something, or maybe you can get some new friends. If you don't have any friends, there's lots of people here. It's growing really fast. You can get, uh, you can find lots of people who are passionate about the same things as you. For example, if you like Minecraft uh, spigot development, uh, you can find people, lots of people who like that. If you like C++, you like Java, if you like web development, it's a really, really big programming community. So uh, feel free to join. There's a link for that in the description below. And the last thing I want to tell you is that if you want to support this channel, you can click the join button below this video and you can join this channel as a member for as low as 99 cents a month and you can cancel at any time. You get some cool perks like early access to all of my new videos, a cool rank on my Discord server like you see right here on the side, YouTube members, and also you get to see yourself on the screen like you see right now. So if that sounds cool to you, feel free to join. If you don't want to, that's fine. If you can't, that's okay too. Um, I really just uh, appreciate you watching the video anyway. And uh, thank you. Thanks a lot. And that's it. So if you like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And peace.